I'm enjoying making a few videos right now. Look at that. Look at this. You know why I'm enjoying it? Because I'm in the presence of the Lord. In my own vehicle, enjoying um, the sunlight versus the dark, gloomy clouds. You see, I'm in this little thing called the cell right here. You see this, this little device called the cell. And I'm enjoying it because, you know, I'm making a video on my cell phone and I'm watching, I'm watching, you know, everybody come up in the natural, you know, the spirit, you can't see the spirits guys, but you can see the bodies. So, um, you get really good at discerning the spirit when you are walking with Jesus Christ and those that lie and say that they don't know what spirits are, they may not maybe they are um dumb to the fact that uh the spirits that operate in this world although you can't see them you can i saw a video the other day on a instagram post that you know the person was burning sage trying to do you know a cleansing of the house not understanding what the hell they are doing the refrigerator starts opening and closing that would probably scare me too can't see anything physically there Looks kind of schizophrenic, right? The refrigerator opening and closing. You're burning sage and you, you, from top to bottom, as far as you can reach, still in the floor, releasing a dry grass, dry weed into the atmosphere. You know, I didn't know this before until I started reading the Bible, but Satan roams and dry mouth, I mean dry places. A dry mouth would be a dry place, right? You know, like cotton mouth. Those who like to smoke a little marijuana. You get cotton mouth. Satan roams and dry places. I guess you smoke a lot. Your body becomes dried out. Uh, perfect environment for Satan. That's why um, I don't smoke that stuff anymore. I realized I like the oil. I don't want to be dry. I don't want ashes of a cross on my forehead. I don't want dry ashes. I like the oil. The joy of the Lord. <laughs> um, so, it was a perfect dark day outside when I started this morning. Suddenly, it's... What do you call it? Purifying the air? What's purifying the air? Well, it's a frequency that most can't understand... You can't see spirit, right? You can't see the Holy Spirit, right? You can't see the frequency of things, right? Everything has a number. And scientists don't really talk about this. But the minute somebody like me speaking the truth, you know, somebody with wisdom, the spirit of wisdom, uh, starts talking about it, suddenly, you know, you're crazy. You're a nobody. You have no degree to talk like this. <clears throat> frequency is a sound that most can't understand and um, this sound opens the sky and what frequency is that why would you want to know why would you care scientists you already know why don't you tell the people what frequency opens the sky and brings the beautiful sunlight out why don't you scientist i know what frequency now that the thing is when i talk like this is okay so she's not going to speak on what frequency number or value or word or sign or whatever opens the door well you guess what there's two ends of this coin i already know and so does a scientist but you on the normal side that don't know you haven't had wisdom long enough, experience long enough to be dealing with the measurements that I've been dealing with. I like the sunshine. I like being on this side of opposition. You see, this side of opposition is amazing because I am alone. 
and the only time I feel at one with the Lord is when I speak for the Lord in the presence of the Lord. Now, that's a frequency in itself that puzzles even the scientist and would call somebody like me way out of their mind. Or is it? It's not way out of your mind when you need somebody like me. You see, Revelation 11 is a number. It's a frequency. It has elements to it. Guess what? It has descriptive elements to it. Messing with the elements to Revelation 11 would not be a very wise thing, even though at some point they will mess with the frequency of Revelation of 11. And in the time frame that they do, they will be given a time frame to celebrate and do whatever <laughs> to the witnesses, okay? And they will think they got victory. But that's what God wants you to think. Because the minute you see them stand up as prophesied in its own frequency, fear will come upon the world. Do you understand? Fear. And y'all think you're playing with fire now, trying to place fear on people? No. Fear will come upon you like you never seen before that's a frequency too you know those kind of fear tactics they spray dark clouds into the sky thick dark grossness i don't like that the plants don't like that any part of creation don't like dark clouds blocking out the uv rays of vitamin d that one needs to produce life. Now, you get the frequency. Yeah. Or do you want to do it like you do in the top part of Texas? Singe a little bit of the hair off. Million acres. Because you don't like the frequency and you want to show what man has. A dragon laser? Woo, what's that produce? Death? Coals to the fire? Guess what? Jesus created the smith. Isaiah 54. 15. 16. And guess what? 17. What, 17 times 7? Huh. One, one, nine, seventeen times seven. Or you could say seven, the power of seven, times seventeen. Is that opposite of nine, one, one? Mm hmm. What about forty six times seven? Or you could say the power of seven times forty six. What's that? Skull and bones three, two, two. I like this day look. Jesus don't have a 322 only. He's got a whole bunch of sevens attached to his name. You know what seven times seven is? Yep. Although they lose at football. Jesus don't. What about 11 sevens? You know what 11 sevens are? That's a frequency. Hey, it is a love right there. 